Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. If uh, if you're wondering, yes, this is Jebediah Kerman. He's he's crashed many vehicles in his career. So they decided to give him something that he is least likely to crash, and that would be this lovely lawnmower. So uh, stinking overpass gives you some weird camera glitches there but, but it, it will crash if you're not careful but uh give him this lawnmower so he'll go around and start mowing some lawns around the uh, Kerbal Space Center because everybody knows you give Jebediah anything that rolls flies or floats he's gonna end up making it explode but since he's been a good little Kerbal, and he's mowed a whole lot of the grass around here, we're going to give him something real fun to play with. We'll just, just don't blow this one up, Jebediah. Okay? Is that is that good? Cool with you? Alright. So there's a lawnmower design I worked on for a while. And I... I do have a couple mods installed uh, the Kerbal attachment systems because they make this this right here just looks like nifty little lawnmower blades it's Kerbal technology and the B9 aerospace with these little omni lights which turn those lights on real quick so he can mow in the dark if he's been a really bad Kerbal and I believe the rest and these the little mowing deck here is part of the Kerbal attachment system and the rest of it is vanilla. It's just basic old vanilla parts. Just uh, I'm I am kind of using the little part clipping thing you can do when you attach something to something else and rotate it in. But that's the only way you could really get this thing to look like a lawnmower. It probably could use a little more work. I spent a little while putting it together, but I think it really does kind of look like a lawnmower. But that other thing it won't let me go to the space center for some reason oh that's why well, if we'll do that alright there we go alright so go out to the space center real quick computer thank you and let's see here where did I put it there it is. It, the reason why it says stock because I changed my uh, changed my uh, or pulled all the parts out, the different vehicles out, and I loaded them in and made a new game because I didn't have my flag up, and I didn't want to have to rebuild all this stuff. So this right here is I really really like this vehicle. I hope you like it too. <clears throat> it's kind of big, but it has to be. And the Kerbal attachment system works really well with this vehicle, the tow truck. And I've been watching a few of Veos's videos here and there. Veos three three two one seven. You probably have heard of him by now. He is really, really good at building really intricate vehicles and stuff but uh i got some interior designs ideas from him watching his videos so here's a steering wheel and you got some instrument panels in there you got some temperature control for for him to uh change the air conditioning and the heaters got some cup holders in there and a gear shift and a couple of seats and these are from I think they're from the Kerbal Attachment System. I can't remember what these are from. And the, the white panels are from B9 Aerospace. And, of course, that's from Kerbal Attachment System. So let's get this thing driving. And it does, it does work really well as a tow truck. I'll have to get another vehicle out here and tow it for you. So, and I've got the front wheels isolated as the only turn only ones that turn so when it does turn it doesn't want to roll 
over as much. I know I may not be uh, a really good at building the vanilla bil uh, builds, just strictly vanilla builds, because if I did that, and I, I just really don't have the time to try to do a complete vanilla build and try to make it work. It's just too much to do, besides mess around with the video games. <laughs> but uh, there's the tow truck, and we're going to give it something to tow right quick, and I'll show you how that works. If I can remember the action groups I set up for this stinking thing. Let's see if I can remember them here. Okay, that's down. And that's up. And that turns it on and off. Okay. I'm using the magnet. Alright, so let's get us another vehicle out here. And we'll tow this, tow this vehicle around a little bit. Show you how it works. Alright. And what should we tow? Hmm, let's see. Um, we'll tow this, the utility jeep. Launch. Alright, you're probably going to see me epically fail at lining this thing up. I don't know why my game does that. I'm going to take the utility jeep. Alright, buddy. Which actually looks more like a dune buggy than the dune buggy does. Really doesn't look like a jeep at all. But, uh, whatever. We'll turn on its SAS. I probably need to fix its tires to only turn at the front so it doesn't flip over. Let's motor it on out here a little bit. And pray to God I don't flip it over. Take her forward. And on down here. It does control really well though. I believe I showcased this on my last video. And the tow truck is so much bigger than it is. Alright, so start pumping the brake. Brake. Alright, very good. A little bit more here. Let's get an aerial view so we can line it up. Alright, and... Set the brakes. Beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I want to back it up a little bit. Let's see, will that line up all right? Maybe nudge it forward. Oops, wrong button. And there we go. All right, so take the bricks off and switch vehicles. Wrong vehicle. And. Alright, and uh, come on. Alright, now let's raise her up. Oh lord. It just. Well, that's not good. Oh, we got a problem. You magnetized to the wrong thing. All 
All right, now we'll try this again. Ah, we got it now. All right, now we can drive around to this sucker. Come on. Oh, I got the brakes on. Let's see if it'll pull it. It's pulling it. A little bit wonky, but it's pulling it. I'm really going to have to figure out how to take these crafts and put them up in the, the spaceport so people can download them and play with them. Because just, you know... Well, it's to it's not lifted it up, but it's still towing the sucker. And that's what a tow truck does. I it's got one I got one side up and the other other all the other wheels are down. That's funny. Okay, it has trouble towing this particular vehicle. Probably if I if I attached it back here somewhere it would tow it a lot better. Let's tr well, I would try that, but that's probably gonna take forever to try to Whoa! Unbalanced. It's very unbalanced. If you if you stomp the brakes, it'll flip right over. It's, oh, there's all kinds of weight up here, and I tried to balance the weight out, and I just got frustrated and quit. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, she got a little bit, just a little bit choked on uh, some pork rinds. My my girlfriend did, so I had to make sure she was okay. But to continue, I, I towed that vehicle over here, and now Jebediah is going to take the tow truck for a spin real quick, and we're going to see if he can actually hurt this thing, because everybody knows he is infamous for crashing things. Okay, so we're going to leave the seat, and, and I'm going to show you you can put a Kerbal into this vehicle. All right, let's uh, let's run, Jeb. Run like the wind. All right, take it around here and zoom out a little bit. Let's see, get him lined up right. Put him in the driver's seat. There we go. Board. Ah. And he is in the seat of the tow truck, and his helmet is bumping the ceiling. So I did make the cab Kerbal size. Nice. And the utility Jeep is attacking. All right. All right. Let's take it for a spin, Jeb. Yeah, buddy. He looks like a baller in this thing. It doesn't look very aerodynamic. It's a little bit blocky. I'm pretty sure I could work on the design a little bit more. Or uh, if I can ever get these things put up on the forums. Or at least a spaceport so people can download them. Then you guys can feel free to tweak the design. Make it better. Because I spent a lot of time on this thing. And... I'm just a little bit frustrated to, you know, after a while of building one craft and trying to get it the way you like it, it, it can get a little frustrating. So we're going to show ram it. We're going to ram it right into the side of the building here. Full speed. Let's see if Jeb can hurt the vehicle. Oh, yeah, it crashes. Dang, that was a big explosion. <laughs> it just ripped the whole front end out. It popped, popped four of the six tires. The interior the steering wheel's busted. There's no steering this thing anymore. So everything's come loose. The engine is falling apart. And just all kinds of things fell out of it. Jeb, my man, you are a successful wrecker. This is why you mow the grass. This is why you mow the grass, buddy. You, you can't even... It's it's not drivable anymore. It's just... 
it drags along now. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hit it again? Well, at least it, the whole thing's not gonna blow up. It's survivable if you ram it on something. So it's just a rather durable vehicle. Your Kerbals can survive a crash in it, but uh, I don't recommend it. it. It decimates the vehicle pretty bad. Well, the although most of the damage is superficial and can be repaired via Kerbal. So that's my tow truck and my lawnmower. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, uh, leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. I will have more Kerbal coming out. Um, probably once a week. I want to try to do that once a week. And I've got something I'm trying to work on on Skyrim. <clears throat> uh, I haven't played Skyrim a whole lot in a long time. And I've been messing with it this week. And, and I've got... I've put in a bunch of mods and... I was just wanting to do a little something with that and uh, if you like Skyrim please swing by and check that out so uh, thanks for watching and as always love peace and chicken grease